Aaron a 1-0 home win against UCD. Was that the reaction you wanted after midweek? Absolutely. Um, we knew three points was crucial today because uh, we'd move up two or three spots on the table. Um, and I thought the lads, to a man, were fantastic in the whole game. And, and, and I think we deserved the three points in the end. You made eight changes from the side that played in midweek. The, was Andy Mulligan one of those who worked his way into the team, maybe for the future? Yeah, well, Andy's been on the peripherals for the last, I suppose, six or seven games. Uh, we haven't really had a chance to start him. I felt it was a good game to start him in relation to trying playing the three lads up front. And I thought he was brilliant in the whole game, along with Roberto Lopez and also Michael Bark in the middle of the park. And we're putting together a little bit of form in the league at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely, but we've got to maintain that. Every game tells a different story. I mean, UCD are a very good side. I went to watch them against Derry and they, they were very lucky not to get something out of that game. I knew it was going to be a very difficult game. I had spent two years with Martin at UCD. I knew... Uh, I know all about the ability of those players and it's a good side and they're hard to beat like, and I'm really delighted with that performance. Are you a bit concerned about discipline at the moment that's Dave Scully's third red of the season for an off the ball incident? Yeah, yeah. Um, we had a chat after the game there and uh, it was something we have to address in the dressing room behind closed doors as they say. So we will be talking to Dave. I mean he's going to miss games because of that now. Obviously gonna, he's, he's going to lose his position in the team or in, in certain games. So. I mean, you can't do that. You know, you can't retaliate to anybody on this pitch. Uh, and, and, and you know, the referee no choice to send them off. Like. Looking back on the European match there in midweek, have you had a look back now at that and you know, kind of worked out what exactly went wrong for us? Well, no, went wrong. We can see the individual errors for the goals. Like, I mean, for 40 minutes of the game, we were fantastic. We brought the game to them. We scored. We could have scored a second goal with, uh, when Keith Buckley got in. Um, but when, when the individual errors happen, sometimes you can't legislate for that. And uh, you know, when you're not marking the set pieces, which which are crucial in, in the modern game um, you get punished like and the last two goals are relevant I know we lost four but the last two goals are you know when you're chasing this when you're chasing the game I mean we had five lads up front we put the two centre halves up front we're trying to nick a second goal which we nearly did with Ryan McAvoy um, it didn't happen and sometimes that's what happens you get you get done in the break which we did last week we done it down in Cork we played five lads up front and we got the penalty and we got a draw out of it so sometimes that works in sometimes it doesn't and obviously you know, the, 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 the 5-1 scoreline looks a lot worse than it is. And I think if you're at the game, you would see that we were in the game for large parts. Was it hard to take in so far as people looking from the outside in would say we got beaten up by a team from the second division in Iceland? Yeah, of course it is. Like, you know, I mean, to be fair to them, they're a very physical side. Um, they've got some three or four good players, you know, that, that, that could probably play at a higher level. Um, but any defeat like that is, is disappointing. Disappointing for the fans, disappointing for the players. Um, and, and it's something that you have to learn from. I mean, particularly a lot of those players playing in that dressing room was their first experience of, of playing in European competition. So, you know, we've got to take the positives out of it, even though, you know, we had a good draw at home, probably had a goal disallowed, which I felt was a perfectly good goal. So you get, you get some bad breaks like that. And, and, you know, great experience for the kids and great experience for myself as well going forward. You've played around with the goalkeepers again. Andy McNulty was left out. Are, are you still unsure of who's our number one there? No, I think what you've got to do is, is ask each other to... to, to Ask the two keepers, if you like three keepers with, with Greg Murray, is to you know to, to test each other in training. Um, again, you know, Andy's played a few games and he'd had a bit of an injury, and it, sometimes you have to be aware of, of that injury situation. That you know you have to rest players when they need rest. And I think we rested Andy tonight, and, and, and Craig has been okay when he's played for us this season, so but no problems making that choice. Is there a bit of a concern that we're, do we might be a bit liable from set pieces? Uh, certainly anything that goes in around the six yard box, we seem to be struggling slightly to get the ball away. No, what well, I mean, okay, the, the Iceland game we did, we conceded, we conceded two goals when guys weren't doing their, their, their roles and the responsibilities that they had before a game that we hand out. They didn't actually do it on the night. Uh, but we got that sorted tonight. I think Evan made some really crucial headers. I think in, in any game you're going to get that. I mean, we scored my set piece, so obviously they didn't do their work from that end of it. But uh, we, we, you know, we continue to work on the training ground, and hopefully that pays off from the end of the season. We go into a little bit of a break now, uh, no match next week. Um, what are your hopes, or what are we going to do for the next couple of weeks? Well, we take stock of the lads that haven't played a lot of games. Um, we try and get a friendly game if we can against one or two of the teams that are looking for them. Um, and we give the lads a bit of rest and recovery because I think they need that. Um, do some pool sessions. Um, and, and then obviously get ready for the next home game. Finally, can, can we kick on? Like we did get a hammer in Iceland, but you know the lads aren't you know two down. They responded well this week. It was the, the biggest thing for us. The biggest factor was to get three points here today. And, and you know, particularly with us not playing next week, you know, it would have given them a bit of confidence. UCD if they if they'd have won the game. Um, and you know, from their point of view, uh, we're delighted with the three points. And uh, we'll rest as I said next week and, and look forward to the next game. Very well done today. Thank you. Thanks.